Hey, welcome back to Juicy Tech. Welcome back to the Juicy Tech YouTube channel and podcast. This is both both a podcast and YouTube channel, but my name is Ario DeJuiced, aka Juice. Basically, this podcast and YouTube channel is 99% of me giving you my experience and testimony after joining a coding boot camp. I left the boot camp sometime around September of this year, 2022. And it was a great experience. And um, a lot of you who are watching this or listening to this via podcast, maybe you're looking to um, enroll in a boot camp or college or whatever te technical school that um, does coding. And maybe you're looking for more information on whether or not you should join this you know, boot camp or institution or not, right? And I'm here to basically, once again, give you my experience, my testimony, um, since I am someone who joined a coding boot camp full time, and um, yeah, that's just what I do here. Um, 99% of the time, just talk about that specifically a lot, but also software engineering, coding, and all that. But that's what I talk about the most. So, um, I talked about this many times before. Um, is it worth it going to a boot camp? Is it worth the money to attend a coding boot camp? It depends on your situation. What I mean by that is. Maybe if you're someone that's brand new to this, like I am, um, I do have knowledge in coding, obviously. I know what a full stack app is, Mern, Fern, like I'm aware of these things, APIs, databases. I'm I'm very aware of the technology, such as the languages like JavaScript, you know, um, Python. I'm aware of these things. I built projects before, and it's awesome. I went to coding, not coding um, conferences, but tech events locally here in south florida and it's just all fun stuff i met a lot of great people we're connected on linkedin but i'm way off topic but the point is um should you join a coding boot camp and it depends on your situation again if you're someone new to this code like coding in general if you're like brand new to that i encourage you to very much focus um primarily on the fundamentals of coding so that means coding 101 and that's like you know, the, like the very basic, basic things of coding, such as um, what I think are the fundamentals are stuff like loops, you know, arrays, strings, variables, um, of course, learning about if else statements, you know, all these things to me are the fundamentals of coding. That's something you need to learn. You know, if you were me, I mean, if I were you, I would focus on learning those things first, you know, and um, before joining a coding bootcamp, I would get down. I would learn these things first, very much. I would focus on coding 101 like there's no tomorrow. If you have to spend months on it, then do that because it's gonna help you so much of not being so behind in the class or in the cohort or the coding bootcamp or school, right? You won't be so lost. Everything's not so brand new to you because you've been studying you know, for some months or weeks, depending how fast you learn this stuff. But that to me would be the route I would take if I were you, I would just, you know, after work, if you're working full time or whatever is your situation, uh, whatever, you know, free time you have, code, practice and code, practice and code, do projects. Those things I'm telling you are going to help you like there's no tomorrow because that's something I wish I had done. I wish I focused more on the one on ones of coding. Right. I don't regret it, though. Right. But um, again, just my experience, that's something I would do back then. I would put a little more time. On learning this stuff on my own then join and then when I'm ready to you know ad advanced or advance uh, myself then I'll join a actual you know school and go from there right um, that's what I would have done but again this is you know my if, if I were you that's what I'll that's what I would be doing right now I would focus on coding 101 and just go from there it's really to me one of the best choices for anyone that's so brand new to coding it really is. Trust me. My cohort had a lot of people who had years of experience in coding and they built some amazing projects and some of them found jobs before me. Um, but again, I'm new to this. I, I, it's been a couple of months, you know, so I, I'm trying to give myself a break here. But some of these, you know, amazing, talented, skilled people have like years under their belt. So when they joined this boot camp, um, it was a breeze. They, they knew everything. They knew they, they knew everything, you know, which is something I wish I had, or I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to get there, but, um, that's just awesome to see. It's motivating to see how like talented and skilled people are. And it's just something that I want for myself. So it's awesome. Um, that, that did motivate me to keep going. 
Because after coding boot camp, people have this idea that the skill st it sticks with you and you have to keep practicing. You know, it's just like playing an instrument, right? A guitar or drums. You know, you learn how to play the drum, but you have to keep practicing to, you know, to always be better. And that's to me coding. You have to, it's almost like an instrument. You have to keep practicing. You just can, you cannot stop learning. Things are always changing in terms of, you know, te technology, new languages, new versions of that language. And you have to keep up to date with, with your industry that you're trying to be part of. So that's something I would encourage you to do also if you're leaving the, like the boot camp, if you're graduating or whatever is your situation, um, keep practicing. Keep doing projects. Network your butt off, right? Network, I mean, soft skills should be like the top three things you should focus on hardcore. Hard skills and soft skills at the same time and network. And that doesn't all, only mean face-to-face -face networking. This is networking also. Me speaking or conversing with you via social media like this, that's networking because now you know who I am. <clears throat> Not personally, but you are you know of me because of this video. So that's a form of networking. And you never know who's watching, right? You never know who's watching your videos or whatever you're posting on social media. Or even if you're writing articles, like people are consuming your content and they want to know what do you know. So this is a form to me, just my opinion, um, social media or the internet is another form or, or way of networking. And that's something I encourage you to do. Not social media. Um, I do recommend it, but it's not just only meeting in person. That's also important as well. You do want to meet some people in person and feel like, you know, you're comfortable being around people and you're, you seem like a welcoming person. You seem, you know, you, you seem like a nice person to be around, not just talking about work, but someone you can have a drink with somewhere or hang out with because you seem like a really chill person. That's who you want to be. That's the person people want to be around. And they just so happen to, you know, be maybe a hiring manager or employee looking for to hire, you know, employees and they like you and you're a good fit. You know, you're, you know, you have hard skills, you know, your stuff. And they like you, you know, it's like the perfect marriage. So that makes sense to me. Um, networking, like there's no, like really learn social skills. If you have a hard time meeting people or you have people anxiety, try to really like conquer that by meeting people, um, conversing, you know, leave comments on people's videos, go to networking uh, events or tech events. Just meet people and pick their brain. It, it doesn't have to be about work. It doesn't always, always have to be about coding. It can be about everyday life. You know, how, you know what kind of hobbies are you into, or you know stuff like that. You know, th how's the weather? Where are you from? Like just you know, people just in, just interacting, and it may lead to a conversation of well, what do you do for you know for work? What's your occupation? And just go from there. So yeah, networking is something I I I mean it doesn't get spoken about too much online for some reason but my coding boot camp did that they really focus heavily on networking because you know it's just important they even have they, they encourage students to go to events which we did i went to at least like four or five of them and i'm glad i did because i met a lot of amazing senior software engineers i met recruiters like it, it was dope i have interviews because of these events i do i still do put i put applications in you know places like indeed and jobsre.com like I do that, but at the same time, you do want to be in person and network. So that's something I do encourage that. Uh, again, you may be looking to get into a coding boot camp, and that's something I very much encourage you. Those two, those two things right there, um, I really recommend that. Like, there's no tomorrow, and seriously, like, do those two things. And I, I just very much believe you cannot, you you can't go wrong. I can't guarantee a job or whatever, but you will just be one of the top candidates because you are great. At those two things hard skills and soft skills i'm still trying to learn how to conquer both i'm not perfect <laughs> but this is what i mean about i'm just putting out my testimonies my experience um my knowledge to whomever is watching this and hopefully you get some value from what i'm talking about and you benefit from it that's my end goal with this podcast and channel that is really the end goal here so yeah there's not much to say besides that um i'll leave the link to the podcast in the box below, um, the podcast is available on Spotify and Anchor for now. Uh, we're shooting to get it on Apple and Google Podcasts before the year is over. So pray for us because I would like for that to be a possibility. But if you can support this video and channel by liking it, um, if you know people that are looking for this type of information, feel free to share it. 
um, it'll be very much appreciated by me. Um, and again, if you like this type of content, um, this type of information, feel free to subscribe to this channel and podcast. And that's pretty much about it. The year is almost over. It's 2022 still. And um, good luck to you on your journey and the coding boot camp. Or if you're looking for a job, good luck to you on your job, you know, search. Much love to you. And I very much hope I can assist any way possible. I'm on Instagram. I'm on the podcast, of course. You can reach out to me via this channel, comments, uh, messages. I'm not sure if you can leave messages on YouTube. I'm not sure. But if you can't do that, if you want to, whatever is comfortable for you. Or you can DM me on this on, on IG. Whatever works for you. So much love, team. See you in the next video, the next podcast episode. And we're out of here. I'm going to go for a nice long run. That's my hobby. So let me go out for this run. It's a nice hot day out. And peace out. <laughs> peace.